Hi, welcome to the premiere of Desert Life. You are going to love this new feature which we will post weekly on our website. Desert Life is amateur videos submitted by residents and visitors to Bullhead City. Remember to subscribe to our channel to watch the latest videos. The little hummingbird is featured this week, enjoy! Did you know? Hummingbirds are the tiniest birds in the world. They are so cute and adorable to watch. I just love them. Hummingbirds can be seen throughout the year. Most of the hummingbirds pass through the state due to migration. The most common among them is Anna's hummingbird. These birds are frequently seen in Phoenix and Tucson, where they now reside year-round. Hummingbirds are naturally attracted to the color red, which is the reason why most nectar feeders you see have a red base or top. Make sure that yours does too. The quickest and most common way to get hummingbirds to visit your backyard is to hang a quality nectar feeder. Providing nectar and a variety of flowers will encourage them to pay a visit to your garden. Try brightly colored flowers, especially red, tubular flowers, are the most attractive color to the birds. When flowers aren't in bloom, be sure to offer a constant supply of nectar. Hummingbirds recognize and remember people, and have been known to fly about their heads to alert them to empty feeders or sugar water that has gone bad. Hummingbirds can grow accustomed to people, and even be induced to perch on a finger while feeding. Female hummingbirds are attracted to the iridescent feathers on the males, and it's the females who pick their mates. Also, all female birds tend to be drab for camouflage. Can you locate the cute little hummingbird clinging to the tree branch? Arizona has the most hummingbird species in the United States. In Bullhead City, Anna's hummingbirds are found in residential areas most commonly in association with feeders and flowered gardens. Hummingbirds spend their days hovering at flowers to sip nectar, feeding almost constantly to supply the sugar necessary to maintain their racing metabolism. Many people would call these the world's most fascinating birds. Hummingbirds are promiscuous breeders. The male merely courts and mates with receptive females. The female may mate with more than one male, but she alone builds the nest, lays and incubates the eggs, and broods and tends the young. The nest is not much larger than a jigger glass. It is typically composed of fibrous plant down, or seeds, and mosses bound together, and to a branch with spider webbing. The nest may be lined with hair or feathers and decorated with leaves, bark strips, or lichens, depending on the species. Only two bean-sized eggs are laid and incubated for about two weeks, depending on the species. The young are altricial. That means the young are underdeveloped at the time of birth, but with the aid of their parents develop in spurts after birth, and are fed a mixture of nectar and small, soft-bodied arthropods like spiders and gnats. Hummingbirds have the most rapid wing beats of birds, up to 80 beats per second. Hummingbirds may consume 70% of their body weight in solid food per day, 8 to 12 calories, and 4 to 8 times their body weight in water. Hummingbirds, according to Cornell University, beat their wings at up to 75 times per second. They travel up to 500 miles, non-stop, in less than a day over the Gulf of Mexico during their annual migration. The little hummingbird, who only weighs about as much as a single penny, are simply awesome. Hummingbirds are delightful and, if you succeed in luring them to your yard, they will charm you. Go ahead and be charmed. Hey, add a hummingbird feeder to your entry near a front door or often used back door or yard. Keep the feeder scrupulously clean and filled with sugar water nectar to attract the bird. Their energy can be contagious and bring energy and a smile to your day.